NC Third Kojic Academy is still accepting applications for the fall semester, scheduled to begin Saturday, September 22nd. All requests for registration applications must be submitted via email to registrar at nc3rdacademy.com. The Upper Room Church will be closed Monday, September 3rd in observance of Labor Day. The church will resume normal business hours and activities Tuesday, September 4th. Join us September 4th at 7.30 p.m. in the Multipurpose Room for Tuesday night service. The speakers will be Elder Tim McNeil and Missionary Yvette Thompson. Ladies, join First Lady Pamela Wooden and your sisters for a great time of fellowship Sunday, September 9th at 6 p.m. at the 2018 Ladies' Lounge. There you will have the opportunity to hear an awesome presentation for the upcoming small group Bible study, Life Lessons from the Book of Ruth. Come ready to be strengthened and encouraged with your sisters. Light refreshments will also be served. Children's Church will resume next Sunday, September 9th, and teachers, along with youth workers, are needed. If you have a heart for children and enjoy teaching the Word of God, please contact Elder Curtis Terry or send an email to urchildrenschurch at gmail.com. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., I am elated today to be able to celebrate with you 31 years of being a good shepherd in the house of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. One for sure, my son, Elder John Amachuka, who came to you as a ripe age of 19 years old when the Lord called him into ministry. You walked up before him as a righteous man and look what God has done today in his life. I come today to thank you for what you and God has done with him. Not only with him, Pastor, I just want to say I thank you. Also, the Lord has called me also into ministry as well. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for all your prayers that you've given through the years. And, and my son also, you took him and you also allowed him to have your daughter hand in marriage. Thank you again. And may God bless you and continue to shower you and First Lady in many, many blessings to come. Again, congratulations on 31 years of being on the wall for the Lord. Thank you. Happy anniversary, Bishop. You know, 40 years ago, people were still asking the same questions they ask today. The two questions that we ask out there as pro-life advocates are where is the church and more importantly, where is the pastor? And I had those same two questions in my mind when I walked up that hill to a woman's choice in Raleigh three years ago. Except on that day, I found the church, the upper room, and I found you. And I'm not gonna lie to you, Bishop. I love your fearlessness. I love that you have complete and utter commitment to the gospel of Jesus Christ. I love that you put feet into action. I love that you have a voice that is clear and loud for the truth, especially in a society that doesn't care about truth and considers it subversive. And you're subversive in that you try to change the established order. You take that risk. You are a risk taker. And I love that. I love that you teach us. I love that you admonish us, that you hone us, that you challenge us in all ways, in the way we think and walk and act out there in the world. I thank you for being a, a pastor to this church. And in the words of C.S. Lewis, I thank you for encouraging us to go further up and further in. And Bishop, I wanna tell you something. You are a hashtag troublemaker and we wouldn't have it any other way. God bless you. Happy pastoral anniversary, Bishop. We love you from the Keller family. We thank God for everything that you've done for us. It's an honor to see how God has brought my family over these past nine years here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. I thank God for every word of encouragement, every phone call, every text, every word of correction. Been there through just about all the most important times in me and my wife's lives. The Lord has definitely blessed us under this ministry. We've got two beautiful young two handsome young men and I have a beautiful wife and I truly thank God for what he has done. And a scripture comes to mind, 1 Timothy 5 and 17, that talks about how let the elders that rule well, you know, among you, they be counted worthy of double honor. And I thank God because 
Man of God, you are definitely worthy of double honor. And I thank God for everything that you've done for us. And it's been an awesome ride so far. And I pray that the Lord continue to bless us, bless you with many more years to come. Happy 31st pastoral anniversary, Bishop. We love you.